In this video, we'll learn how to animate a chain like this one. Let's start by creating a floor for our object to fall on. First, we need to separate our chain into individual lengths, right-click on the object, select Process Mesh, then split into parts. Select all chain links while holding the Shift key. Open the simulation widget and set these links to dynamic, set the shape accuracy to 6.0. Now, let's test our simulation by clicking Run. During the simulation, try selecting one link and moving it with the manipulator. Notice how the chain stays together the links remain connected. If your chain starts breaking apart, check if there's enough space between the links. They shouldn't be pressed tightly against each other. For proper simulation, links need room to move just like in real life. For complex link designs, you might need to increase shape accuracy to at least 8.0 or higher. You may also want to reduce gravity. Let's explore different animation types. Recording a chain fall, you can record the chain falling onto the floor or any other object. Let's add a cube to the scene, select the chain, go to the simulation widget, adjust the gravity factor, and hit record. The following animation will be recorded in the Animation tab. Add it to the timeline, and you're ready to render. Fixed End Animation Lock the end links of the chain by selecting them while holding Ctrl. Then set them to Static in the Simulation widget. When you hit Record, the chain ends will stay in place while the rest moves according to physics. If the chain breaks during this process, adjust shape accuracy, reduce gravity, and check the spacing between links. Adjust shape accuracy, reduce gravity, and start simulation again. Custom movement animation, record an animation following your own path. During recording, select any link in the chain and use the manipulator to rotate and move it as desired. Connected parts will follow the active link's movement, creating a creative motion animation. Use these techniques to animate jewelry pieces and other chain-based designs. Share your results. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on new tutorial videos.